Are we live? Are we just <laughs> now live? <laughs> okay. ah! We're live, we're live, we're live, we're live. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Me and Alicia have been back here talking. I'm going to the camera. I'm gonna come come here. on. We've been back here talking to the camera for the past five minutes and didn't know that we wasn't live. Listen, so. Linda. <laughs> I have not been a, yeah. a controller for the cameras before, so we are winging it today. It's just the two of us in Somebody the studio Somebody asked where today. we were. We're here. Are we? Are you sure we're here? Yes, we're live. <laughs> Listen, y'all, drop a, an emoji. If we're live, if we're I live. want you to drop an emoji, a smiley face, right to now. let us know that you can hear us. We're live. We're live. Woo! Okay. Praise the Lord. Update. Praise the Lord. Hello, everyone. I'm Welcome so sorry. Welcome back to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Welcome. <laughs> Me and Alicia <laughs> have been back here talking to the camera for the past six minutes. Yes, we actually and thought we were live at 1.30, so yeah. uh, apologies. That's I'm my sorry. Fault. Yes. yes. We thought we were live, but we wasn't. <laughs> oh, look, we've got some emojis rolling in. Yay! Now I see emojis. Okay. Just it's, it's totally, disregard us. It's my fault. Yeah, it's sorry. no big deal. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys didn't hear, uh, Tanner and Courtney have a little set of baby twins they're yes, fostering they're fostering um so it's just me and caitlin today and you know what guys it's going to be a good time it we're, is. we're bringing we're bringing the fun stuff but hey yeah that's we're okay. just we're just winging it and caitlin's going to be doing the project but i came over here because we were kind of talking about yes. um, maker you maker before you guys joined us we were talking yes. about our announcement from sunday yes so um oh youtube live Sorry, has been I'm a mess today. i'm seeing all the comments roll in yes Hello so from Cali, Vermont. Hey, everyone. Crazy. I'm so glad that we figured it out because I was stressing for a it's second. It's okay. It's okay. We're here. We're going to craft together. We're going to have a good time. That's yes. all that matters. Yeah, I'll let you but, tell them what they're doing and then okay. I'll come back and we'll talk about okay, some other that's stuff. that's fun. I'm going to set your notes over here to the side. Okay, thanks. Today, we're going to be putting HTV on uh, tumblers. Um, metal tumblers, but you don't I mean, necessarily have to do like a tumbler. So like I was saying before, um, <laughs> if you have like a metal sign or something that you're wanting to put um, HTV on, you don't have to just use sticker vinyl. HTV yes. is such a wide variety of like fun times. I feel I mean, like it's more permanent than even like, permanent vinyl. Yes. It yes. like adheres better to uh -huh. your surface. But. I feel like HTV just works a lot better to me anyways, yeah. but um, if you guys can see the hat that I'm wearing, it's the one that we made yesterday, me and Lauren so on the cute live. fashionista. I told them yesterday I was going to wear it, and today I just felt like it was a good day to wear it. It literally so, matches your whole outfit. Good, I, I'm wearing my rain boots because we're having a, a rainy day here in East Tennessee. But it was like gorgeous beautifulness yesterday, and then it oh. was like pouring the rain. This morning was literally like pouring the rain. Yeah, it was crazy. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <sighs> our accents. Uh, are y'all making fun of I? I don't have That's an accent. Y'all okay. do. That's what people <laughs> Please send our love to foster mom and dad. We're also foster parents here in Vermont. How awesome. Oh my that gosh. Great. True angels. Yes. True angels. I yes. Feel. Never even thought about using HTV on metal or wood. Well, you can. And we have, and we do. Yes. Yes. You're going to learn today. Oh, okay. I Let's see it. here. Before we jump, I'm trying to read the comments, so sorry. I, I'll um, keep up with them for you if you're having okay. uh, struggles no, okay. with your eyeballs today. It's okay. I did go to the eye doctor this morning, <laughs> and I got contacts instead of glasses this time because I wore glasses for like the seven, the past like seven to 15 years. Yes. Um, so and so this is a lot, yeah, contacts. this is a lot different, but I mean, like I have 20-20 vision right now, and I'm not used to that at all. You're like, wow, yeah, I can I'm see like, everything. Ah, I can <laughs> see you guys. No. Um, That's hilarious. Oh, let's see. Dee here. says the hat looks cute on you. Thank you. I told you guys yesterday we were going to wear it. We were going to put my name on it and then something happened with the printer, but that's okay. I'm still wearing it. I like it. it. Just like, I like that. It. Yeah, for Very sure. Very cute. Well, um, let's see here. What do we want to talk about real well, quick before I we jump think in? That, I think that we should talk about Maker You a little bit before we get started. Yeah, sure. It's fun. So if you guys missed it, I'm, I'm going to pop back over. Just okay, come on. Here, I've got your notes ready for you. Yes, so before um, we went live, when I thought we were live the first time, Alicia, I, I love seeing you. You remind me so much of an angel in heaven. Oh, uh, honored. That's sweet. Don't say things That's that are emotional awesome. to us. Because yeah, if she we're cries, very emotional I cry. people. <laughs> That's um, but so, Maker University, if you missed it on Sunday, they announced, Tanner announced um, the Maker University course 
that we're offering. There's 20 yes. projects. These are not your typical projects. They're yeah. not your, it's not it's our free not content. Like a, yeah, I was gonna say, it's not like a normal, a normal everyday project. Yes, these are like, projects that are gonna like elevate the skills that you already have. Yes, and these just are the ones, take them to the next level. I was getting ready to say, these are the ones that you are going to take to the next level regardless. Yes. I mean, you're not just gonna do this on a rainy day. Yeah. You know? So we have two, the first 250 people to sign up, you're gonna get $50 off. You're gonna get a mug, which we didn't bring the mug in here, but it's so cute. It has like an MU on it, our logo it for. A, you get that when you graduate. Yeah. Makers University. Yeah, yes. I love it. And then yes. you also get a certificate, like a diploma. Oh, also for the first 250 people, you get um, your live Zoom calls with Tanner. Yes, it's a four-hour. Um, it's live a four-hour live Zoom call during our business hours. Yes. Um, you get that, the $50 off, and then the mug whenever you graduate. Yes. So. Um, Megan is asking how many okay. spots we have left before the doors close, and I want to say like under 100. I was going to say yesterday was around about 100, but we did have a couple people sign up yesterday. So yeah. let's go with a little bit less than 100-ish. I mean, it's filling up quick. It is filling up quick. I knew it was going to do good because anything Tanner puts his hands on is like gold. Yes. But this yes. really And is... I do want to reiterate that we are not for Forgetting about our members. We had some comments yesterday was like, oh, well, you're forgetting about us members, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. I promise you. Yes. I mean, we are driven to Makers U, um, but I mean, our, our members are our number one priority. We yes. do this for you guys. Yes. Um, so we are not forgetting about you guys. Yeah, we've still got some tricks in the bag. Yeah. We've still we always got some tricks. Listen. Crafters. <laughs> Become tricksters. Yeah. Become tricksters. Yesterday, yeah. we were working on one project, and that's a sublimation project, yes. and we came up with two hacks in yes. one project. In one project, and honestly, I would say less than 20 minutes. Yeah. We they were, were like, like boom, 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 back to back. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Um, someone asked where they signed up. Um, so I pinned a link to the top so you guys can just click the link there. Okay. Um, Kathy's asking what you're signing up for. This is Maker University, so Basically what we've done is put these modules together. We've got yes. timber, which is wood. Um, we have design space. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Paper. Yes. We're doing paper textiles. and textiles. Yes. So like yes. we're doing embroidery, needlepoint, um, woodworking. They're mm -hmm. literally, if you can think of it, we Actually, put it in there. Actually, if you want to hold on, I can grab some stuff that we showed them yesterday. We can just show them again. Yeah. Oh wait, here's one. Yeah. So this is one that Lauren had made, yes, and I'll hold it up here. Obsessed with this. Um, this is one of them, and then the keychain we had it's right here somewhere. Okay, yeah. Um, this is a knockout keychain. Yes, yeah, so that Lauren had to do like the knockout text, and so, you guys may not be able to see that from all the way okay. back there, but but yeah, lots of different things, lots of different ideas. Yes. Um, so if you click that link, there's a little bit more information, so you guys are able to actually see like what we're going to be offering yes, and all that yes um, but there's going to be i'm telling you guys we have worked so hard on this we literally put our heart and soul on these projects these yeah, are like agree. not these this are not is, basic are projects top notch projects yeah so yeah. it's like taking your hcv tumbler and like turn it in to turn it the up. best yeah, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. anyways lots of cool things there but yeah i'm gonna let you like kind of jump to your craft i'll take my notebook okay. i You're write okay. my notes in this this is my baby that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> um Today's project, I mean, super, super easy, super minimal supplies. I mean, you see, I have what, I mean, how many things on, on the craft table. So, yeah. um, super, super easy, super, um, foolproof. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, that wall decor court. Oh, that wall decor is what got me signed <gasps> up. Great. Oh, Lauren, would Lauren love worked to hear her that. tail off on that. That came to her like overnight, that idea. Yeah. So yeah. She, I mean, she texted me. She was like, I've got a great I idea. I would say that that sign was like her pride and joy, but she is working on a hefty embroidery project right now. And you guys are going to fall in love with it Listen. because I have. Um, I'm like, coming from embroider? someone who, who knows about embroidery but doesn't has never done it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm I'm one of these people that are like, okay, you and border how much, you know, I'll pay you to do it. But yeah, she is here to teach you step by step on what to do. Like that's all what, the stitches. Yeah, that's what Maker U is for. So yeah, love it. Let's see here. Yep, Carrie said five things on the table. That's yeah. how easy. It's I literally mean, super minimal. But we can go ahead. I guess you guys can see what supplies we're working with. I have just a normal metal tumbler. This one has came from our local Walmart. 
um, but you can get them wherever. I know, like, Hold on, your mic just stopped. Did it die? Oh, it's Can back. you hear me? It's back. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was going to say this. This tumbler is just from our local Walmart. However, I'm sure, like, I know Dollar Shores sell them. I don't necessarily know about Dollar Tree. Joanne sells them. But, like, you can get a plain metal tumbler anywhere. And, yeah. I mean, we have two different sizes going on. So, they, however you want to do it. Um, we have just our normal standard grip mat. I have some orange HTV that we're going to be using today and our weeding tools. And then I have our measuring tape so we can see um, what, how big, how wide, everything that we want. Um, if we want to go over and hop over into design hop it hop <laughs> on over into design space, um, then we can get started over there and super easy project today guys but we'll go ahead and hop over into design space okay. and let's see here i was reading a question do i need a machine to embroider um, no who is teaching the uh, who is teaching the class on embroidery uh lauren is um yes. lauren that was here live with us yesterday she is taking over the embroidery she is the embroidery queen so yes and someone's asking yep. can you do it on a powder coated tumbler talking about the htv and i'm gonna say yes to that. yes you can um i was gonna say yeah you could um i mean even if you don't want to put this like if you want to go back to camera one real quick yeah um like you see i just have normal htv on a metal tumbler but you could like epoxy this and then put htv on it you could put htv on it and then epoxy mm -hmm. it so totally up to you whatever you want to do but htv is very flexible to work with in yes. lots of circumstances yeah but let's hop over um back in design space and let's go actually I'm gonna show you guys some of our fonts. Oh, there's our file that we used yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna show you some of our fonts and we can just pick one and go from there because I mean, whatever is gonna be cute. Yeah, what you I'm can gonna pick. use whatever font. So here are some of our new fonts that we just downloaded uh, or just uploaded to you guys. Um, when was it? The beginning of the month, I yeah, think? Yeah, it was the beginning of March. The beginning of March. Mm -hmm. um, we have went to monthly uploads instead of weekly uploads. So you guys get a lump sum of everything all at once. Um, and we did upload cut files as well. I'll take you and show you some of those. We've got um, a couple different things. So we're not using a machine for the embroidery for Makers U. These are literally hand These are handmade projects. Yes, everything I mean, can be done with the Cricut it's, in it's your hands. It's done with our Cricut, but like we're not using like an embroidery machine. We're not no. using, um, I mean, we're using a saw to cut some wood, but. Yeah, yeah. And then um, another question, yep. Sue was asking permanent vinyl. No, we're using HTV um, and we're not using a hat press. We're just using I say a that you could probably use the hat press because it is a rounded um, heating element, but we do not have one, so we are not going to be using that. Today, I'm just using our mini easy press, mm -hmm. and it works just as good. Mm -hmm. So they're Let's asking see. about your green tumbler. That's just Caitlin's cute little drink. Oh, yes, this is drink. just my water because I'm dying of thirst today. It's like a thousand degrees in it here. It is so hot in this film room. <laughs> Y'all just have no idea. And there's like two big lights blaring on me. Yeah. But that's okay. We're um, making If it. this will load, I will be more than happy to show you guys some of our new cut files that we just uh, they released. They are so stinking cute. Let's see if I can get this to upload. It, sometimes it takes a minute. I mean, yeah, what's going on here? So who today is thinking about signing up for Maker University? Are you guys as excited about it as we are? Oh, Tanner's tuning in from the couch with the foster twins. Yay. I would say this is Tanner or Courtney, but more than likely Tanner, more than Courtney. <laughs> yeah, because I can tell by the exclamation point yes. it's Tanner. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. Well, Tanner is in our comments, so if you want to go wish him some good luck and to get some rest, then have at it while I'm trying to get these to load. Yeah, oh, they, they are loaded. having a way. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Okay, so this is some of our new cut files that we have um, just released to you guys. Super, super cute. Oh, my gosh. Look at all of these. I know. I'm obsessed. I love, love, love some of these. The baseball? We have, like... Oh, yeah, that baseball would be a super cute door hanger for, oh, yeah. you know, I mean, a baseball family. So I love that. 
Oh, let's see what we have here. We have lots of vertical porch signs, mm -hmm. which oh, I'm yeah. obsessed with. Um, if y'all don't of... follow our TikTok, we actually posted a 4th of July yes, lean to yes, sign, yes. and it's super, super cute. Yes. So you can kind of see it in real life. Look at these. Look, look, look. The terrazzo. I love, 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 love these terrazzo prints. Yes. Not only that, not only are these cut files, they're also, you can use these to sublimate with. You can yes. use them for all different like techniques. You don't have to just cut these out of vinyl. I think everyone here sh today should sign up for Makers University. I yes, agree. Carrie, yes, Carrie. I agree. Yes. Preach it. <laughs> all right. So those are some of our newest cut files that we've uploaded and be looking for some more next month as well. But let's go back to fonts and let's find one that just like catches our attention today. Um, I do want it to be kind of like a thicker font so we can see what we're working with here whenever we put it onto like that tickle. That's super cute. Yes, you guys super draw, cute. tell us your favorite font that yes, out of our new fonts. Yes, I would re yes. I'm really curious to see what people are drawn to. Kumi Tumi is my favorite. Okay, can I tell you something about Kumi Tumi? Yeah. You can go to camera one. Okay. I want to tell them too. <laughs> Let's hear it. Okay, so this font, Kumi Tumi, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on it. So I have been working here for like two days and um, we had gotten some new fonts and we were trying to think of names. And I seen this one and I was like, this is so cute. I literally named this font myself, Kumi Toomey, because my dog's name is Kumba. Aww. And we call her Kumi Toomey when she goes and gets the zoomies. Oh <laughs> my gosh, that's hilarious. Yes, How cute. so this is a super cute font and super near and dear to my heart Aww. because my dog is the greatest Well, of all. and it's probably just as cute as your dog. Yeah. <laughs> Because that font is she so is cute. She is so rotten. Aww. Kumba is so rotten. But I love that font. And whenever I showed Gunner, he was like, really, Caitlin, you named a font Kumi Tumi. And I was like, yes, I did. I was like, these people are going to love it just as much as me. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. All right. Let's go to, uh, where do we want to go? I'm gonna just Let's just do some basic fonts and scroll through them. Um, so... Let me go back to... Okay, yeah. There we go, okay. Back on shared screen. I like this font, Blake. Me too. I think that's a very good Let's font. do that. Let's I do that. Font. Let's yeah. do it. We are not even signed in. We need to go sign in real Oops. quick. Oopsie. I like this font, Blake. That is Gunner's middle name as well as my daughter's middle name. Oh, so I love that. I'm just drawn to it. I love boy names Barefoot for Barefoot Joanna's names. goals. I know who's topping that one. Tanner, <laughs> Tanner, Tanner. He loves, loves, loves Barefoot Joanna. Well, listen, I had to take a vow last week that I would not use Groovy Moves. Yeah, that's true. You because did. Because, y'all, I'm obsessed with Groovy Moves font. And Saturday Night. <clears throat> Tina gets it. Tina, Saturday if night, you like yes. Saturday Night, I know you like Groovy Moves because that's my favorite. Let's see the drag strip. Is that a name of a font? I'm going to look it up. Oh, I have never heard of that. Did I name it? <laughs> Let's see. Is this a new font? I don't know. I don't know. We're fixing to find out. Uh, that's cute. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, my God. I kind of like that. Do it. Let's click on it. Let's make it a I little bigger. I want to see it bigger. Let's, let's see. You know what we could do is test it. Oh, Michelle likes demonstrate. That's my favorite script. Demonstrate, yes. I it's do like, like demonstrate that a lot. It's very elegant, like kind of yes. sleek. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all, I'm a font fiend. I can look. When I oh, do a project, I like I, that. That's like, like, cute. Like that. Yeah, you should do that. Okay, let's do it. We are going to download this font. And, of course, when you were in our Makers Gonna Learn um, website, there's a couple different ways to download a font. You can click download now. You can click the little cloud. Or if you go back to this screen, um, you can click the little cloud there. Either way, whatever you want to do. This is going to download in a zip file, so we need to go unzip that really quick. And it looks like we already have it downloaded, but I'm going to install it again. Look at all these fonts, y'all. Look at all these fonts. We have so many downloaded on this computer. That's okay, though. All right. Let's head back over into Cricut Design Space then. And I'm going to restart our uh, Cricut Design Space because we just downloaded a new font. And let's go ahead and pull in our text box, change our font, 
Yes, I know we're missing that. That's okay. Let me erase this. Okay. Um, we are going to change our font to drag strip. Yay, I'm excited. I am too. This is really cute. I think I did name this one because it looks like a racetrack. It does. <laughs> um, but I can't remember. Um, okay, so on this little one, I put Mommy's Sippy Cup. I think on the big one, I want to put... I don't know. What do you say? Uh, let's do Dada's Drinking Cup. Yes. I think that will be really cute. D-A-D-A? -D -A? You want to do that? Dada. Oh, you put whatever. You put whatever. Dada's Drinking Cup. Yeah, that's cute. Drinking. D let's do drinking. That's cute. That's cute. Drinking. Drinking. If you're from East Tennessee, <laughs> it's drinking. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So we've topped in what we want to use. This is so cute. This is such a super cute font. I yeah. love it. I want to go ahead and align this to the center. Um, and then once that is done, let's go over and thank you so much, Michelle. How sweet. Let's, um, let's go overhead and we'll measure our working space that okay. we have. Is Tanner still in the comments working? Um, uh, maybe a little bit here and there. Okay. Are we overhead yet? Yes, we are overhead. Dad has a soppy cup. <laughs> oh my god! Cute. Gosh. Okay, let's see what we have to work with here. What we think is going to be the cutest? I think four may be a little. Too, I don't know. What do you think? Do you think four may be a little too big, or do you think pull that's it, good? Pull it up towards the. Yeah. Can we see? Can that's we see? perfect. Right you think there. four? Yeah. Okay, let's do four by three. Yes. Sound that's good. Perfect. All right. So let's go back over in design space real quick. And we are going to change it. We're going to unlock it and we're going to do four in width. And what did we say? Three in height? Yes. Does that look? No, nah, that doesn't look bad. I think that'll look really cute on that cup. Yes. Okay. So then from here, we're just going to click make it. And you always, 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 always want to cut on a mat. You never want to cut off without a mat. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's. That's done. We can go over. You want to go overhead, and they can. I can show them me loading the mat. Mm -hmm. Does want, anybody have any questions? Do we need to mirror it before we send it through? I am gonna mirror okay. it before okay, I send it through. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get there. You're gonna yes, get there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see here. Do you think maybe that's enough room to work with? Yeah. Someone's asking, or uh, let's just do it. This Keely time. says, I need suggestions on how to organize all of my favorite fonts. I swear to you, I spend way too much time looking for that perfect font. And listen, girl, I, pff, me too. Yes. I, I spend for, that's probably what takes most of the time when I'm working on projects. Yes, yes, But yes. honestly, if you have an idea, let me know because I have no idea how to organize fonts. I wish that in Design Space you could organize fonts the way you organize projects. Today, um, we're just going to use our regular fine point blade. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the Cricut though real quick, and then we can go back over into our design space and mirror it. And we are just going to cut this on everyday iron on because it's HTB. Oh, let's see here. Okay. We want to mirror and you see how that switched it around. We're going to continue. Let's see here what device we've got selected. We're going to use our Maker 3 today. And is there any way to delete a font in Design Space? Um, I want to say yes. What do you mean by deleting a font? Like if they don't want to have that font in Design Space? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know. I would be curious to know the answer to that too. So I'll see if I can look into that while we're okay. hanging out on the line. Um, so we can go to the Cricut and show them. Like, they can watch it run through the mat and cut while we're uh, reading comments and stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, there's a website you can preview all your fonts that are downloaded on your computer. Oh, I have Are we on heard. the Cricut camera? We are. Oh, okay. We're on three. Good deal. Let's see. Oh, also with HTV, I didn't say this earlier, but of course you want to mirror it. Um, but you can also see that I have the shiny side down. You want the sh shiny side down. I love HTV because it has built-in transfer tape already. Mm -hmm. um, that is what your shiny side is. So, I mean, you, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. Yeah, it just makes it easier. Yeah. 
Let's see. All right. Let's Word see. mark. Word mark must, they say it shows all of your downloaded fonts. Mm. Interesting. I love that. Okay. So, listen, we had a couple questions yesterday during y'all's lab mm -hmm. about, um, like, all of the, if you're not a member and you still want to do Maker University, you can totally do that. Yes, we you do not you... have to be a member to join Maker University. You do yes. not have to be one. And we will give you all of the files that you need to complete each of the projects. So yes. don't like whenever you purchase Maker University, if you want to go to camera one real quick and yeah. I'll just talk to him real quick. Um, whenever you purchase your Makers University, you do not have to be a, a, a member of Makers Gonna Learn. Um, with that, when you purchase Maker University, we give you all of the fonts, cut files, everything that you'll need in Design Space. We give that to you when you purchase Makers mm -hmm. University. So, and it's so, yours forever, might I add. Oh yes, yes, that's yours to keep forever. So um, you can, like, if you do a project and you don't perfect it, and you think, oh, I'll get back to that, and yes. then three months pass, yes. and Maker U is like already done for. Yeah. Like you can it's just yours. pull it back up and yep. practice again. Yeah, if you. But, I mean, I don't know, three years from now. Um, <laughs> you never pull know. Pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. It's yours to keep. So. Yes, which is amazing, yeah. I think. Um, and then I just want to reiterate how what? important it is for you guys to realize that you're investing in yourself whenever you yes. sign up to do Maker University. You are saying to yourself, I know how to do these things, but I want to be the best at them. I want to be the best at embroidery. Absolutely. I want to be the best at woodworking. Yes. These are really going to be able. Also, I want to say that you're going to be able to think outside of the box a little bit more. These yeah. projects kind of force you out of your comfort zone. Yes. And which I is what we maybe, love. Uh, and truly, I think that's why we've spent so much time on them. Each individual yes. project has been a process. Yeah. It's not something we can just be like, okay, I'm doing that. And in 20 minutes, it's done. I yeah. mean, you as crafters know that projects, I mean, when you're in it to win it, it they take a little bit, you know? Yes, yes. Um, so, yeah, we have spent multiple days, multiple hours, multiple weeks, mm -hmm. I would even say, on these projects. Yeah. And that's because we want the best for you. Yeah. Okay. And you're not only going to be learning just projects, like we're not just doing an HTV Tumblr. We're right. teaching you this how to like do the basic technique. of the base. Yeah. Basic. Yeah. We're teaching you how in Techniques. design space to make Absolutely. your own designs yeah. and make your own, you know, we want you to learn the technique opposed to just learning that one specific project. Oh yeah, absolutely. What camera are we on? We are now overhead. Okay. So, you can leave. Um, so the only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my true control knife and I'm going to cut off the excess because we don't need it. And once this is cut, then we'll just start waiting. Carrie says, I have yes. a steel mug that has black paint on the outside. Will yeah. HTV work on that or will the black show through too much? And I think um, it would be fine. I think it would be fine. Yeah. Um, I mean, you don't, I, I mean, yeah, I think that would, that would be I don't think you'll fun. have an issue with the black showing through too much. You may have an issue with it staying sticking. attached. Sticking. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. More than anything, will... you would have a problem with it sticking, not just yeah. uh, seeing through. But so. you, we were talking earlier, if you ever, um, like, make something or buy something handmade, always wash by hand. Handmade equals yes. hand wash. Always. Yes, yes, yes. That just kind of. You know, when things are handmade, they've been delicately put together, and you just want to be extra careful. I don't think I had my blade all the way in because uh -oh. this didn't cut. Well, that's okay. We can just cut it again. Let's did it see. sort of cut or did it um, cut it's it all? It's just like scored, really. It's not even really cut. Hmm. Is it the blade? Um, I want to say, yeah, I don't. Okay, so. You want me to go grab a different blade? I think so. Yeah, I'll just. Oh. I think this may have been the one that I took out yesterday because it was getting dull and I didn't throw it away. Let's see. So, pause button. I know this one works okay. because yeah, I used it Okay, yeah, let's switch morning. it real quick and then we can just throw this away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the dull blade that I was using yesterday. Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. You never know. Never, oh. never know. Never know. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna trying go to figure out how one. I want to put this on here. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Does anyone have questions about like Maker Hello U? from Rainy Knoxville. You're so close to us. We're in Rainy Knoxville almost. Yeah. <laughs> 
Test cut. Yeah, that was a test cut. That was cut. a test cut. <laughs> it's a crafting fail. That's hilarious. That's okay, though. Yes, That's Carrie is listening so well because we are leaving the consumer status and becoming producers. Absolutely. Yes, Carrie is on yes. it today. She has been listening to what Tanner is saying, and I love okay. that. I'm going to go back to everyday iron on. Um, you can't reverse weed HTV because, correct, I don't reverse weed. I don't, it's not like a technique No, I, I mean, I would. I mean, you can, but I don't know why you would. Because it's already, it already has Your the transfer, transfer on, it. on right. it. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. there's, you just will weed it like normal. Like normal. You would not mm -hmm. reverse yeah. weed it. Heather says, am I the only one who can't craft with nails? And Caitlin's are so cute. Listen, you guys, she about had a come apart <laughs> before because she knocked one off. One came off, but let's not talk about it. That's why this Band-Aid's on here. We were there for like five minutes before the live and she's super gluing her fingernail back on. Well, I had to. Because I can't just go get them done right now. You gotta be looking I gotta cute. craft with y'all. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let's see, what else? Does anybody have any questions real quick while that's cutting again? No one's can't saying do anything with nails. No, yeah. I it's think kinda, it's, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It's kinda hard. It's an adjustment. I mean, it is. It's a very like adjustment. And depending on, you know, like if you get fake nails and if you get, you know, yeah. what all you get on them or whatever, but well, I've got my real nails, and mine are long, and I've slowly had to adjust. I yeah. mean, I can't. Sometimes, yeah. if they're too long, you can't be texting. You can't do anything like can't that. I know. Can't do nothing. <laughs> Heather said, thank God it ain't just me. She must be from around these parts. <laughs> yes. Bead and Tiger makes a good point. You already technically have reverse weeding with HTV and yes. air quotes. Because yes, yes, yes. Because it's, like, already... It's already... Uh, on the transfer paper uh -huh. for you so that's one reason why i love htv you can yes. put it pretty much on anything it already comes with your transfer tape easy, like you easy. don't it's not all this extra junk that you have to use yeah exactly but i'm so, gonna check and see if this cut before i take it off the mat <laughs> that's a good idea yes <laughs> So. Jacqueline says, I never knew you could use HTV on a Tumblr, but I think anything is possible. That's In right. the crafting world, anything is possible. I mean, you will find a way to do it. Listen, I mean, honestly. And on, like, we have even... So, can I use HTV on that green cup? Uh, yes, yeah. you could use HTV on this green cup. That's powder-coated, isn't it? It is powder-coated, yeah. but HTV would stick right to it. Also, let's talk about HTV anything, because I had not used it before. You want to come over here and talk? About sure, because you've done it. it. Yeah, I'll come. I mean, I know the gist of it, but okay, you can talk to here. I can step over here. You. Oh, you're gonna let me. You have, have the stage. floor. I'm back. If you guys missed the beginning, I was up here for a second. Normally, it's like I'm over We're there, at the conversation table, having fun. But yes, but I'm doing. Right I'm the camera lady yeah, today. That's okay. Um, our little Sadie's not here today. She normally is like doing the thing back there. But okay. HTV anything. If I'm you gonna have try not, and save this cut real quick. So okay. y'all, you do your thing. If y'all haven't heard of HTV anything, basically, it's I want to say you can take HTV and turn it into a sticker. So I don't really like the name HTV anything. I feel like it's the opposite of that. But you can turn HTV into a permanent waterproof sticker. So like. We did. You're a, good. You keep talking. I'm gonna see if this cut. We did a um, rhinestone tumbler, and we use HTV anything to make the decal for that. So you can use it for like a few different things. I'm trying to think of what other instance that you would do that. Like if you had, I don't know, like a patterned HTV you wanted to use to make into a decal, it would be good to use it then. Yes. I feel like that would be a good instance. I think this did cut. Let's see. Did it? Oh, yeah. We're back. <laughs> yes. Rolling with like the gravy. Really I was stressing. I thought Rolling it was Rolling with work. the gravy. All right. Let's see what everybody's saying okay. over here. Yeah. I'm just going to be waiting this I'll so we lead. can answer questions or do whatever. Yes. I want to hear, like, what you guys are most excited about for Maker University. What, what do you feel like is your favorite project so far? Even It doesn't have to be yours. Oh. Uh, hmm. It could be any of them. You know, honestly, I like the imitations we're making with the foil. Yes. Those are cute. Oh very, my gosh. very cute. And we figured out a hack. <laughs> yeah, we did. We did. My favorite one that I've done is we did a wooden LED sign. Y'all, it is so cute. It's like, I don't know. It just makes my heart sing. You it, know when you do it something? It is very you. 
Yes. We'll start by saying that it's very you. It is. And it's super cute. Yeah, it's very me. Um, it could be very interchangeable if they wanted it to yeah, be. Yeah, you can do so many different things. But I know that y'all crafters out there know whenever a project just makes your heart sing. Oh, yeah. That's how that project was for me. And, you know, so. like in the crafting world, sometimes you've got good days and you've got bad days. And, you know, when those bad, bad weeks. days hit, bad, bad weeks. weeks, yes. <laughs> when those bad weeks, bad days hit, they're in it to yeah. stay for a minute. You know, yeah. like. Okay, listen, we, we're missing some comments. But, okay. Sue, I'll start with Sue. I want you guys to do a class or a course on rhinestones. We did a video on rhinestones. Yes. Was that a live? I don't did think we... it was. Was it? Have we done it yet? I don't think you have. It was, okay, it's a video. It's coming. Y'all are going to get to do it. We're doing rhinestones. It was so fun to learn. You all will love that. And then the tutorial. there's a tutorial where we're actually using the HTV Anything to apply the rhinestone decal to the uh, tumbler. You guys have and to watch That's a powder-coated tumbler as well. It is. It's, it's on a powder. It's just like that Yeti. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then what else? Someone else said something. Oh, I was asking you guys what you're excited about um, for Maker U, and I see some people say they're nervous about woodworking. Listen. That's why we're here. I am a female, and I know as a female, I, we, I own a woodworking business with my husband. I run that woodworking business, and he helps me. So I get that it's intimidating working with tools, working with wood. Most of our wood projects don't really require power tools. Um, you can have them cut at Home Depot, so they're just like ready to go. Most of it's just like using the Cricut to cut the wood or using the Cricut to make stencils for the wood, if that makes sense. Um, so there's lots of different ways that you can use the Cricut. And I don't want you guys to feel intimidated by these projects because we take you step, step by, by step. step. And these videos yes. are detailed. They are very, they're not just like a 15 minute video. Yes. It's like I agree. a 30 minute, 45, like it's a course, it's a class. It's like if you went and signed up at college and you, you know, came, you wanted to learn creative writing. Yes. And you came and we teach you how to do that. So I don't want you guys to feel intimidated by any of these projects. They're super easy. They're very detailed, but they're easy when they're broken down into steps. And that's what we did for you. We yes. did the hard part so that you guys can enjoy these projects. The crafting and have fun. part. Yeah. 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 So Carrie says, I love power tools. Right back at you, sis. I do too. All right. Let's see. Here. I love it. My S has came off just a smidge, just so I'm going to add this back on somehow. That font is it's so really cute. cute. I don't remember. It was it Carrie who like picked I'm it. I'm having to work with it. I love that. But that's Let okay. Me, I'm going to go drop the link to Maker U. Okay. I thought I pinned it at the top, but I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i re it for you guys so you can... Uh, Maker U should be... Uh, it should be, but we'll pinned. drop it real quick. I'm yeah. going to attach this S back on here. Let's see. Let me see. Okay. Rubbin is part of racing, so you know you have to make sure that you put this back on here right where it's supposed to go. I accidentally pulled it up and didn't mean to. Um, I'm not sure when the rhinestone uh, the rhinestone video is dropping yet, but just keep you guys can turn on notifications for any of our videos. That way, anytime we post a new video, your phone's gonna say, "Hey, Maker's gonna learn. We just posted a new video." Yes. And I like to have yes, that yes, set yes, up yes, like yes. for all my favorite, you know, people that I watch, and as well as Maker's gonna learn. I have notifications set up for us. I'm too. trying so hard to get this back on here, and I was putting it on upside down. No wonder I couldn't. <laughs> it wasn't like laying right, was it? No, it was. A, I had it backwards. Okay. So here we go. right now, if you guys sign up for Maker U, if you were one of the first 250 people to sign up, you get fifty dollars off. Yeah. Yes, $50 off. You get a Maker U mug. Yes, I was going to say you get a Maker U mug, you get $50 off, and you also get a four hour live Zoom call with Tanner during our business hours. I will tell y'all, that's probably like the most priceless thing that oh, you can get. For sure. Because he is going to firstly encourage you all and inspire you. Tanner is a very, very good at getting people excited about things. Because he is very excited about things. That's like why I love his personality. Um, but if you guys, if you don't know who Tanner is, he, this is his channel. So he is going to do a live Zoom call with you all and yes. kind of like encourage you through the whole Maker University thing. I'm sorry. I'm trying to finagle this S back on here. It's taking <laughs> a said, minute. Caitlin reminds me of me, Weedy. <laughs> 
So she must uh, look really close at her. I, honey, she I, can't I got see. contacts today, and I'm trying to get used to them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, she I did see. get contacts today, and I am trying to get used to them, but... Caitlin cannot see I can't anything. see. I'm blonde. So <laughs> I gotta get, I, you know, you got to get down and dirty with it sometimes. That's why I call it rubbing and racing. Oh, my gosh. I cannot with you. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so here we go. I've got this S back on here. Did Yay. they get the mug? I thought that they got the mug when they signed up, or do they get it when they graduate? You get the mug when you graduate, not when you sign up. Okay, okay. Yes, that's okay. All right, so I've got the S back on there, and I'm weeding out the middle of my P and my R, and I think I've gotten everything. <sighs> Whoa, voila. Oh, can that orange it? looks good. Yes, yeah, you can see it. I think it's going it. to look cute. Um, guess who may kill me? Because I'm using orange. Um, he is not well, a he Tennessee likes fan. I know. I was going to say, he is not a Tennessee fan. Oh, and you if you're from Tennessee, blue. well, that's okay. Well, honey. my husband won't like it either. He's a Georgia Bulldog fan, so. We're Bless SC, your heart, we're, we're Trey. SEC no, people. That, I feel like it's like the SEC and then the NFL. Like yes. the rest of them yes. don't count. Don't come for me. Okay, um, <laughs> let's go overhead. Are we, uh, can we go yeah, overhead for a minute? Go overhead. And I don't really have anything to hold this on to, but that's okay. It's going to stay because of the lid. Um, I have actually already wiped this off with alcohol, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this is the um, font that we have chose, and we're just going to stick it on here like so. I think I'm going to do it in the middle of this. Like, do you see this little logo? Because I think that's what I did here. Yeah. Do you see the little logo? I like to do mine on the opposite side of the logo because I don't want to see the logo. Okay, well, let's sense. do it on the opposite side. You want something to hold that thing there? You know, do we have, I don't know, something? Yeah, here, I got you, girl. I got you. Like, a towel or some a shirt. Uh, here. Okay. She's coming. She's coming. <gasps> Two blocks. Okay. Listen, yeah, that'll work. Good deal. And we'll <laughs> stick it here so it doesn't roll. Oh yeah, that that work. Okay. So That's we are just going right to there. stick. Okay, so the <laughs> HTV, um, like I said, it has your built-in transfer tape. So with that, we are just going to place it on here like so. And a good thing with HTV is you can kind of like move it around. So once it's down, it's not like necessarily permanent until you add your heat to it. So this is on here really good. And look how cute this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed. All right, so there's that. And then we're going to take our Cricut um, Mini Easy Press. And this literally, when I'm telling you this is on here for like three seconds, is on here for like three seconds. I, I do each letter just like up and down, very quick, very easy. So just something simple because you don't want to go too hard, I guess is what we could say. Um, because it will make like the, the adhesive on the back of the HTV, it'll make the letters slide and we don't want that. So Heather said, that's it. I'm signing up for Maker U before my spots. <gasps> Yay! Yay. I'm so excited. I'm going to actually hold this. I think it'll be. Listen, I saw somebody say this and the reason I did not grab a squeegee. So you can use a squeegee to hold your tumbler in place, but this, um, a squeegee, you know, the like burnishing the tool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can, like, lay it on there, but that is a fat tumbler, and I think that it would not be, like, it's fat, and it's two different sizes. So it may have worked, but that's why I Working with HTV, also, you can tell whenever it starts to work because it starts to bubble on top of your um, vinyl, and so once we can tell that it has bubbled, then you know that you're done. Um, it's like it's like it tells you automatically. You're like, hey, okay, I'm, I'm heated up enough, you mm -hmm. know? Listen, Kathy made a good point, and I do remember Tanner saying this about the mugs. Okay. You get it when you sign up because he was talking about them having it when they do the Zoom call. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. I told you guys wrong. I didn't mean to. We didn't mean to let your hopes down. No, but I do <laughs> remember him saying that now. And Litsy's talking about the tape roll. I use a tape roll all the time to hold my stuff I in did place. use. I use a tape roll a lot. Um, yeah. I think I did a wine glass, was it, with you oh, guys? Oh, those are perfect or for like, wine glasses. Um, maybe like a... 
I don't know, it was like a drinking glass, but like a bourbon glass maybe, I think. Yes. When I was doing the etching, and I think I used one then as those well. Those are, those are perfect for that. All right, we're gonna set this down, and then, that's not too, too hot, so I can just start peeling up. Let's get this. One. What temperature did you use on your easy press? Are you all the way up? No, I'm at setting two. At I don't two. necessarily know what temperature degree that is. I did not get the end of my D, so we can go back in. And Stephanie signed up for Maker U today. Yay, Yay, Stephanie, welcome. Oh my gosh. Anna's asking if you could use a regular iron. Um, you know, Tanner has said this multiple times. Um, you can, I do not recommend it because an iron does not have a flat surface like this mini easy press. The irons have like, uh, it's, it's like the, the holes, little holes yeah. on the bottom. It's not a flat surface to work with. This is a flat surface. I recommend something like this. The mini easy press can go wherever you go. Yes. So it is very easy, easy and very flexible to work with. So mm -hmm. that's what I prefer. Um, crazy crafting chicks are asking if the HGV is more permanent on tumblers than permanent vinyl. I would say yes. I would say yes. Yeah, I, if I can use HGV over uh, permanent vinyl on a project, I'm going to mm -hmm. because I feel like it fuses, like it it like molds to the surface better. Yes. Um, okay, let's see if preference. this went. And another thing I like with HGV is like once it's down, it's down. That's fine, but you also like. I mean, you can go like, like that R right there. It didn't, it didn't stay down. So the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this down. I'm gonna fix it, and then I'm just gonna lay my transfer table right back down and heat it back up. Yep. Just be really delicate when you're pulling off that transfer tape. Yes. That way, if you do have something that didn't quite iron down, you can just go right back without actually ripping your vinyl right. or pulling it off and stretching it. That HTV can be really stretchy, and then if you place it back, it can like be wrinkly. So just be super careful. Let's see. Um, a, Lynn has a tumbler holder made out of PVC pipe and foam. Genius. We need I one. have seen those. So, like, yeah. I follow a lot of groups um, about the sublimation cups, you know? Yes. Um, and because before I started working here, I was like, oh, my gosh, that's adorable. That's so cute. You know, well, little did I know that I would be able to make them in a matter of months. Mm -hmm. But um, we also <laughs> have those. We have an actual, like, turner thing what is that thing called that you can put the resin on and it spins i would it. call it a tumbler turner okay well we have a couple of those i could have used one of those today for that because it has the foam that you just stick the cup in you yes, know yes yes i love but. that you can use htv on mugs yes um we did htv on have we done it on wine glasses yes i was thinking I that the, we've done that I did um, the Jesus Juice. Well, those were HTV? Yes. Oh, yeah. Those are so cute. All right. So I'm going to go very easy and pull this up. Uh, Michelle says, I love that you use Dada. Dada. It's so sweet. That's what Chloe calls her Dada. So I didn't get that K really good. So we're going to do that again. I just did metallic HTV on a t-shirt. It's not sticking. Any suggestions? Um, I would check what brand you're using probably yeah. first because certain brands of HTV are not as good. Um, 143 Vinyl has amazing HTV mm -hmm. vinyls. I would just always recommend them. Um, and make sure that your heat settings, like make sure it's hot enough. I think that might help. And you have to leave it on for... Um, like heat it up and sometimes you have to like let it cool down before you pull it off. Also, you want to make sure that you're lint rolling your surface as well. Yes. That way it's super clean and ready to attach. All right. I think we might be done here. Ken's asking why you're using transfer tape on HTV. So HTV automatically comes with transfer tape. So that's one thing I love about HTV is because it is the transfer tape itself. It's built into it. Yes. So you put your HTV face down onto yes. the mat, you put it shiny side down, and then it cuts the backing, but it doesn't <gasps> cut the transfer. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Okay. Um, I'm going go to camera one. All yeah. right, there you are. Step out of the way. 
Oh, oh, oh. MT Redeker. This I would not guys. recommend in the dishwasher. Hand wash these, right? Oh yes, hand yes. hand wash for sure. You don't want to stick these in the Look dishwasher. Look how cute they're matching, matching. Yeah, they're cute. Super cute. Twins, twins. I love that. This is really cute. And like, I mean, it's not like you guys can see. Like it's on there. It's not coming off. Um, I I just I love working with with HTV. Yes. Um, someone asked if you need to add a sealer. No. No. I, I would say no. I it's mean, if very you rare wanted, that you need a sealant. Yeah, I was going to say, if you wanted to put like a like a top coat of epoxy all over the cup, then uh -huh. have at it. But you don't have to. No. Yes. Um, Terry is on the fence with Makers U. Obviously, I signed it. up for a lot. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. They You're going to learn so much. Well, and they're worried that they they're going to be repeat projects, but I, li listen, these, not. this stuff is so, these mm -mm. projects are so unique. There's stuff in there that I had no idea we could even do. And we just For made sure. a way. Oh, we yeah. made a way. We were like, we want to do this project mm -hmm. and we're going to make a way to use our Cricut and we're yeah. going to get it done. I'm telling you guys, the stuff is so unique. The projects are so unique yes. and so fun. Yes. You're going to love, love learning all of that. I agree. Let's see here. Does it want to have any more questions? Um, HTV does stand for heat transfer vinyl. Yes, Correct. it does. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Long time ago, I really love fans. Do it. Just jump. Yes. Now for your water cup. I know. I need to put something on this. This is a very cute color, and I love it, but I never put anything on it before. I know. I love it, too. I mean, how long is the curing time for this? There, um... There's None. not, yeah, I was going to say there's not one. Yeah. Um, once <gasps> you. Elena joined. She joined Maker U. Yay. Yeah. Yay. I yay, wish I could meet everybody that I joins know. Maker I U. Know. Like personally. I wish that we could all come together. Maybe, maybe, maybe um, for the first 250 that sign up whenever they get the four hour live Zoom calls. Maybe we could all just step in and that say, That would hey. be fun. You know? Michelle said, woohoo, Tanner's not here, so somebody needed to. Woo! Uh, yes. <laughs> Tanner is so funny, and uh, I miss him so much. I know, I know. Can it's you do that for colored cups? Yes, you can. HTV will go on it. If you guys try Tumblr and you're a member and a part of our Facebook group, please post a picture. We would love to see yes, your projects. Yes, I want to see your projects. Yes, I, we, love, I literally go through there almost every night. Um, if not every night, every two nights um, through our member only Facebook group and just scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll because I love seeing the questions that you guys have. Yes. I love seeing the advice that you guys give. That's excellent. Yes. And just the projects that you guys, I mean, you literally like think out of the box and go for it. I, I love it. Yeah. Kathy, we did see your comment about the Maker You mug. We, okay. we addressed it. You get a mug when you sign up. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, let's see. What's you here? you can do the mug press for um, HTV. Like you can put HTV in the mug Oh, yeah, press. you could. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, if anyone doesn't have any more questions, I hope you enjoyed um, this little HTV tutorial. Yeah. Um, super cute, super fun, super, like, minimal. Um, I mean, honestly, you've seen the square. Like, let me just show you again. I was going to say, you've seen the square that we originally work with. So, like, this big. This is considered a scrap piece, you know, yeah. from, like, a big project. So, like, you can make super cute stuff with scraps mm -hmm. um, with HTV. So, so, I, I mean, super cute, super affordable. I mean, yeah. it's not hard. Yep. Um, People are wanting to put cricket. UV resin over it. You could do that. You could do that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. For sure. All right. Well. I guess we'll see y'all in the next, next one. Next one. No one has any more questions. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thank Bye. Thank you. Bye. Can you get it? <laughs> Stop <laughs> waving. Can you get it? You know, okay. I'm going to go turn the camera off. See <laughs> okay, you guys.